yeah, come and try it. We do, we do recommend. You would say you'll be Like the statue from Mulan. <laughs> Guys, so we're here to try Ichiran again, but I don't think we'll have a lot of luck. Oh, wait. There's no line. Why? There's no line. For us. <laughs> Even here, we still have to wait 80 minutes to get ramen. It's Crazy. 18 minutes is one and a half hour. That's really insane. But yeah, imagine last time we were waiting outside there for one and a half hour just outside there. So to enter here, you didn't wait 18 minutes. So yeah, just just come early and just come in a long peak hour. If you can, just come 10 a.m. It's around 1 p.m. right now. So maybe that's why the crowd is a little bit more, but still not as bad as dinner time. So yeah, this is a tip if you want to eat Ichiran in Osaka. I'm a basic hole. I just stick the reading for the recommended one. I just follow what they recommend. <laughs> the one from Kyushu Junkara but I don't know like, it's actually nice in the sense that it's a bit more it's not as oily it's very fragrant but I feel like if you like like that porky fatness and everything you should go try the one in Kyushu Junkara this is really good as well Sorry guys, I feel like I can't capture how pretty this castle actually is. The rain is getting heavier and heavier and I think choirs and entrance fee, that's why everybody's lining up there. So we're not too sure if we actually want to go in with the entrance fee. So now we're in a departmental store back in Osaka, nearer to our hotel, and we're gonna try this afternoon tea place called Harps because I think they're famous for their like um sort of like crepe cakes, but not they're not really crepe cakes. I'll show you in the clips after this. Because initially I want to try another place in Tokyo, which is in Shibuya. It's called Love and Table Afternoon Tea. I really want to try that, but we didn't make it to try that because we didn't have enough time. So this is the next option if you want to try like layered cakes like this. So yep, how many things are sold out? Very, very recommend. It's melon cake. Melon cake. It's good, guys. Come and try it. Hi, guys. So, I know I already said I was disappointed with Pokemon Centers, but I'm still gonna go to this one because it's like right in the building that I'm gonna eat, that I was eating cake just now. Oh, here's another Pokemon Center. This is so nice. It's literally Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Oh my god. Guys, I'm sorry, you're gonna see more Pokemon content right now. <laughs> 
guys, it's a Charizard. I'm so happy. I finally get to see like first gen Pokemon over here. Like, look at this Bulbasaur. Oh my god. So you guys, I'm pretty sure you'll be happy. Dude, like guys, you can't imagine how happy I am. I finally can see first gen Pokemon over here. Guys, I'm not at war because it's closing time. I have to faster line up to decide what I want to buy because I need to pay. But I can't decide if I want this uh, blind box where I can potentially get the melodic or should I get Charizard over here because I like this Charizard too. Let's get both. I really don't know. I, I feel like I'm spending so much on, on this kind of stuff and I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I love everything. I'm just like, oh, okay, never mind. I will just decide soon and I'll ask like my friend to help me decide. So yeah. I currently look like a crazy woman and even like an auntie with her kids say that oh my god they did my whole talk. Yeah I think they're really my whole talk but I'm so happy because I think all together I'm probably gonna spend about there's probably 9,000 yen of merch over here okay it's a bit crazy I feel but yeah I'm really really happy I'm gonna get all and okay oh yes I forgot to say that since I'm a traveler here I actually get tax free so if you buy like above 5,000 yen for most shops you actually get like a 10% tax exemption so yeah actually you have to think of it as a 10% discount basically so yeah I'm just gonna get everything I can't wait to share your what I got We are gonna have more desserts and we're gonna try this cheese tart called Pablo. It's cheese tart. What do you think? Yeah, it's cheese tart long. Yeah, but the inside is really soft, like over here. So many can try it, but I feel like you know, you can get equally as good cheese tarts in Malaysia, just maybe a little bit different. So yeah. ordered like a plum wine and I think it actually tastes really good like you should try ordering plum wine because remember the other day I said like I didn't really like the flavor of shochu I think if you like a little bit of sweetness in your drink in your alcohol then you would enjoy plum wine so have a try get the chance It's quite a sight actually to be honest. I'm begging you to stay. And if I could show you, I'd hope that you could see all the possibilities that could be a place for wow. you and me.
This guys, I got this. I know I'm a little bit crazy, but I'm so 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 happy. Oh my god, I, I probably spent like I think I probably spent three to four hundred ringgit on just Pokemon Birch. I think I'm a bit sell, but it's okay. I'm really really happy. This actually I wanted the red one, but the red one sold out, so I can only get this. And I also got one of the keychains because I wanted to get two big size ones. But I feel like I'll be able to use the keychain more often compared to like if I got just two of the big ones to go inside my bedroom. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye to this, and now we're gonna go on our way to Kyoto. But we're gonna stop by at Osaka Station. So so far away from don't know whatever Yumeda station, all these luggages, and we finally reached Lukwa. We're gonna eat love and table afternoon tea, which is another like uh, multi layered cake, and after that we'll have dinner, lunch, whatever here as well. So yeah. The size of the cake is truly very big. Look at this. Like, this is my hand for comparison. Okay, we have a This is the Okay, I would how is it? Very fresh. Very fresh. Mmm. That way, that's an interesting also. I think they have strawberry, kiwi, mango, and banana. It's really cool. And this one's basically a melon cake. It's basically like three types of melon. One sun melon and one honeydew. What do you think? Mmm! Yeah, it's speechless, you know, after eating mine. Like the one nearest to me. This is good, isn't it? This is also good, actually. I think it's good. Yes. Mmm! And if you want to choose the Tan Gong Ice Cream, you can choose it. Wow! Mmm! Right? I also like this. We recommend this place more than Harp. So please come here. I think this one has lesser outlets. You can also go to the one in Shibuya because I know that one in Shibuya just have to make it to go at that time. And this one in Lukwa Osaka. So this is at the JR Osaka station. It's really really good this one. So yeah, come and try it. Really really recommend. So this is our stop for dinner time and actually we wanted to try a uh, omurice at Kyoto It's called Kichi Kichi Omurice but apparently need a reservation there and also today it's not open So we can't go there to eat but this is our next option and I think it should be a good option Because we see actually a lot of locals like putting down their name here on the waiting list So it means that I guess this place is frequented by locals because we see all Japanese names over there So hopefully it will be good Rice is a bit different from what I expected because I thought that over rice would have like the egg flowing out and everything, but this one doesn't have it, so maybe this is just a Malaysia Oku that thing. So, anyways, I'll do a taste test right now. Mmm! This beef curry. Wee! We're going to Kyoto! It's a little sissy, though. It's a little Guys, I just lost my Suica card, so I now play Aikoka card over here. Wow, this is quite cute. I like Suica card. I don't have any fun, I don't 
Okay guys, so this is our room in Kyoto. It's called M Plus Shoumiya. So there's a TV here. There's a queen size bed here and that's actually it. Like that's all there is in our room. This is the smallest room I think out of all the three hotels that we lived in. The second one was the biggest actually. It's also the nicest. This one is it's okay but it's just really really cramped. There's literally only just one walkway. There's nothing to hide from this hotel basically. Hey guys, so we are already at our hotel now and I think I just want to explain to you what actually happened just now. So as we're taking our train from Osaka to Kyoto, I just, I dropped my Suiga card. I don't know where I dropped it. I probably dropped it when I was like searching for directions at the train station. Even though this place is sort of like very ulu and sort of like there's nothing in this place, the good thing about the machines here is that they automatically, you can just buy a card at the machines in nearly all the stations like because the station wasn't any big station or anything it was just a random station but the ticketing machine there was was able to like produce this card right away so I guess this card is the card that they use in the Kansai area it's called the Aikoka card and there's a penguin over here it's really quite cute actually the only con is that they make you pay a deposit for this card I saw that the deposit was 500 yen and you have to top up 2000 yen but overall I think it's still quite convenient and the good thing is I also didn't lose a lot of money because I didn't top, a lot, top up a lot of money in my Suica card anyways so yeah because I want to point this out because I think they are less strict when it comes to normal rides where you don't use the Shinkansen because when you use the Shinkansen what happened to us was that when we took the Shinkansen from Tokyo to Osaka um, Chung Yun kind of like dropped her ticket in the train which we didn't realize then when we went down they didn't allow her to exit the train station but it turns out that if you lose your ticket and you cannot exit you actually have to buy the Shinkansen ticket again so basically a Shinkansen ticket costs about five to six hundred Malaysian ringgit that so that's really a lot so it's really a big consequence if you drop your Shinkansen ticket versus if you just drop your touch and go like your Suiga card or your Aikoka card I think so I think that's something you all should bear in mind if you want to take the Shinkansen like just be very very careful with your ticket because we were really shocked at that time and we were actually really scared but the good news is they actually managed to find the ticket at the train and then we didn't have to pay extra for anything and yeah so yeah just make sure you take care of your Shinkansen ticket that's all I want to say yeah So today we're going to do a Yukata photo shoot and we're very lucky because it's very sunny outside. So right now, um, I already had my makeup on and I'm only left with my lipstick because I actually want to match my lipstick to my Yukata because I'm not really sure what colour of Yukata I want to wear yet. And we also have our hair done right now because we actually took a package where we will have our hair done by the hairstylist over there because I see so many people having really nice hairstyles when they wear Yukata so I'm very excited for it and yeah. So we're done wearing our kimono now and I'm very happy with my colour scheme because like I wanted to wear like a pink or red kimono. I couldn't find a red one with a pattern that I really like so I opted for this pink one with red and pink flowers. So you can see it over here. So yeah, this is my colour scheme for today and right now we are probably going to have brunch. Chicha and matcha lattes here are really really good. Y'all should give it a try. Bye bye.
guys, we have reached what they call Qing Sui Su. It's called Kiyomizo Temple. I think this is the most famous temple in Kyoto. And I'm so sorry if the clips are not very interesting today because we are actually like just taking photos around while we walk with our yukata. But this temple is really really pretty. So yeah, if you come to Kyoto, you definitely have to visit this temple because it's the most famous temple here. Okay. 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 Almost fell asleep on soon. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops step in. On the roof, it's like they're calling out. Don't lose your youth. I think this was the shrine that I wanted to go for for relationships. But I think it is close to days, so I don't think I can go for it. But it's okay because actually I at least got to go to the main shrine. But anyways, I checked from Red Book that if you go to this shrine over here, it's actually for relationships and marriage. So if you're somebody like me who wants a bit of luck in the dating scene, you can probably um, consider come to this shrine over here within the this um, Kiyomizu Temple, and you know just give your prayers and everything because apparently this is for. Love and relationships. So yeah. Magic in the world around me. See why I got us by fuku. Now I often get so tired. It's harder just to be fascinated, breathing free. This is our next destination. It's called Papa Sense Yasaka Shrine. And over here I guess it's the next most famous temple over here. And we're gonna come here to get more photos. I can stay inside and Go inside or oh, make today just a little less mundane. Oh, I can stay inside and go inside. Oh, hey guys, we are at this street called Patin Seolu, Eme Koji Street. And the funny thing with this whole place is that they say it's a private road so we can't take photos so I'm not taking a video of this road but I'm taking a video of myself to just tell you to enjoy the scene over here because yeah, they don't like to take photos or videos here. I don't care today what the neighbors might say. Cause I could stay inside and type away inside all May today. Just a little less Monday. Oh, I can stay inside and type away inside all day today. Oh, this in the rain. Don is really good because they actually fire on the spot when you want to eat it. Okay, so this is the end of our Yukata day. I'm kind of sad that I need to return it, but yeah, it was a really, really good experience, honestly. I think, like, if you can afford it, if your budget allows it, you should try to wear it one day. It's not as hot as I thought it was, even though it is kind of hot, but. It wasn't that stuffy. Since I was wrapped in like two layers of fabric, it's not as hot as I imagined. So go try it. I think it's really, really pretty. And you know, I like to be pretty, so.
Actually, the matcha taste isn't so strong, so it's not bitter. I feel there's a green tea aftertaste if you eat this. So worth a try, it's quite interesting, but I think you should share it with a friend because it's actually a lot if you eat it by yourself. want to try sake so yeah this is my first try of sake I'm quite excited because we haven't really drank a lot during this trip because I feel like we don't really have a chance to drink because our schedule is so packed and we can't afford to get a hangover or get drunk so yeah I'm really excited my first sake experience good guys I really recommend this place but I think I need to find out what's the name of this place first because we just randomly came in but I'm so so happy right now okay. apparently eating peanuts here while eating your barbecue meat is a thing so I'm very happy like this place is really good vibes just come here if you feel like a bit low <laughs> hey guys, so today's our last day in Japan and we are now going to make our way to Kyoto Station after that we will go to the airport like finally we actually low key we can't wait to check in our luggage right now because we are like taking like all these luggage bags over here So we've already checked in our luggage and right now we're just going to shop around in the airport and see whether there are any last minute souvenirs we can get But anyways, I think this is the end of the vlog I'm not too sure if I still want to like share what I feel about this entire trip So I'll see how it goes But anyways, thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this vlog And I'll see you all in my next video Bye!